ready to go for this 10 minute match. The Roosterweight division. Talisa Suarez emerged 2020, late 2019, early 2020 as one of the, uh, the new generation of Roosterweights poised to take over in the Roosterweight division. Of course, Bruno Malfasini had enjoyed pretty much dominance for the best part of a decade or more. Very few people were able to challenge his position, Mikey Musumichi, Kyle Terra. But Talison Suarez is among the new wave of lightweight grapplers looking to carve out a legacy for themselves in this game with the sort of the growing age of, of somebody like Bruno Malfasini. He competed at the most recent World Championships, but there are question marks over whether he will continue to do so as he as he gets older. But we look at somebody like Talos Suarez and we see him as a uh, potential heir to the crown of Roosterweight King. And winning gold medal here at the Pan Championship is, uh, is another brick in building that wall, right? Oh, absolutely. And I think if I remember correctly, there was a tournament in particular that Talos and Suarez had won. Oh, going belly down on a footlock. Oh, that looked like it could have been tight for a second. But as I was saying, Talos and Suarez won a bit, won one big tournament and then immediately got on a plane that night and flew across the world to compete in a different tournament. <laughs> so he's a very active competitor as well. Yes, he is. Based in Australia now. That's why you'll see him, his team, official team as the Byron, the Academy Byron Bay in, or on the Gold Coast in Australia. Carlos Alberto, AKA Bebeto based in the less exotic location of Fayetteville, Arkansas. <laughs> a growing hub for jiu-jitsu though, Arkansas has uh, recently attracted a number of GF team black belts and they've uh, established quite the presence in the state. And um, Oh, but Beto really yeah, moving around well. GF team have got such a great pedigree. They've been co producing high level competitors from from roosterweight to ultra heavyweights. They really, they have such a, a deep squad at every weight class. That's the, something that they're all known for, is fight hard, fight forward, don't stop. So you expect Bebeto to, to put the pressure on Talison Suarez in this position. Talison Suarez as well, as we had mentioned yesterday, uh, the Howell Teague dubbed it name, Little Meow, really speaks to the, I mean, the style of grappling that he has, you know, really amazing burn bullet attacks. His ability to take the back from any situation where he inverts is very impressive. And you can see Bebeto taking preemptive measures to stop the inversion by having grips on both pants. So far, an advantage apiece. Talison being pretty consistent with this left leg lasso as well. Nearing the halfway point of our first male final of the day. Good pressure there from Bebedo and trying to get around the guard, but I just think back to Talison Suarez's earlier match with Esteban Martinez in the semifinal, and if Esteban couldn't get past the guard of Talison Suarez, who can? 
Well, Esteban is, is really known for his dynamic guard passing. And you saw Towson really pushed to his, his patient to the limit in that match, really. Oh. Interesting development. Yeah, penalty against Talison Suarez there. So it's now even 2-2, two -two, one advantage each, but there is a penalty against Talison Suarez. So that gives Pepeto a slight lead. And now I think we'll see a very different match because I feel that Talison Suarez will need to get. Some interesting decision making happening here from Talison Suarez as well, if you notice. He came, he came up. Almost like he wanted to come up for the advantage on the double pull, but then immediately pulled guard. And it would have been interesting if that became two points. You saw him realize as soon as he pulled guard, he got right back up. Oh, now really getting aggressive here is Talison Suarez. You see him pulling out for the double guard pull. The double guard pull will be more important now because Towson has one more penalty than Bebeto. So if Towson is penalized one more time, it's two points for Bebeto. So far, Talison having a really difficult time getting through the grips of Bebeto. Oh, and a big, big sweep over the top from Bebeto. To say this is a very this is a very smart match indeed from Carlos Alberto. Up by two points, one advantage, and a penalty. This is a, this is a comfortable spot to be. And diving on a footlock. With a little over one minute to go. Talison Suarez is adjusting the position and trying to get a, a better bite around that ankle because right now he has an arm around the lower leg. He has the grip of his own gi, but it is not an optimal position to force the Achilles lock submission. When well, your straight angle lock submission requires both hyperflexion of the of the uh, the foot and the bite of the forearm, the blade of the forearm into the Achilles tendon, and right now he has neither holding onto the leg. 
I think that this match is, it is Bebeto's to lose. It's not over yet though. He's doing a great job maintaining top position, but he's he rotated, beautiful work by Bebeto to rotate so as not to roll out of bounds. Champion is Carlos Silva.